You wouldn't think the ambassador who works out of the United Arab Emirates Embassy in Washington and the far-right pro-Israeli think tank housed in this nondescript D.C. building would have much in common. But thanks to newly hacked emails, we know they were working closely together to undermine Qatar and Kuwait in the eyes of U.S. officials. Uh, Zaid Jelani uh, broke the story. Uh, as far as the contents of the emails, I think a lot of what they show is that there's a very intense level of cooperation between the Emirates government and sort of right-wing neoconservative think tanks uh, close to the Trump administration and close to the Israeli government. In addition to revealing plans to discredit Qatar, the emails highlight past and upcoming attempts to embarrass the country. Former Defense Secretary Robert Gates headlines an event in Washington, D.C., where he raises the idea of moving the U.S. military base from Qatar to the Emirates. In an email exchange with the Emirati ambassador, he's asked to, quote, give them hell. A few hours later, Qatar's official news agency was hacked and false stories about the country's ruler supporting Iran and Israel were broadcast by Emirati-based channels. The emails highlight an agenda for a conference hosted by the Emirati government and the Washington-based lobbyist firm, the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies. Qatar, the Muslim Brotherhood, Turkey and Saudi Arabia are among the items up for discussion at the June 11th meeting. Other emails show a concerted effort to get negative stories about Qatar planted in the U.S. media. And one email from 2013 shows Ambassador Yusuf al Taiba also lobbied top Republican leaders in the U.S., hoping they would support the coup that ousted Mohamed Morsi in Egypt. The federal law stipulates that people who engage in any lobbying effort uh, that, uh, uh, that includes payment of money, when, when money changes hands, then all of these statements should be made public. And if you look up the open source, you will see that in the year 2014, the UAE was the top uh, 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 payer of, of money with $14 million. Officials at the UAE Embassy in Washington and the FDD refused our request for comment on this story, which lays bare a secret campaign to discredit Qatar and others in the eyes of the Trump administration. The UAE and Qatar disagree on foreign policy in Palestine, Egypt, and many other places. It's now clear just how far the UAE is willing to go to try and make sure the United States sides with them. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.